All right, so welcome to our Money Mondays. I have a little music video there at the beginning talking about lost in a supermarket. And that's going to relate to our lesson today. We're um, not going to a supermarket today, um, unfortunately, but we are going to complete an activity um, on some different things that you need to think about when you do go shopping um, with a budget and um, understanding what you know things you need adding those prices together and doing some um, money math on um, on going to a supermarket so what you'll need today is your packet that you have has all types of shopping lists it's in color so make sure you have this whole packet we have different um, aisles in the um, grocery store that we're going to look at so all you need is that packet today right here should be in your money Monday section something to write with and what I'm going to do is typically what we do for our money Mondays is I'm going to go through it kind of a part one show you how to do um, each of the activities because they are different and um, then I'll pause let you finish and um, then come back with some answers so we can review and see how we did on that so hopefully everyone had a great weekend feeling good I know this is our last week of instruction and I'm really gonna miss you guys. So I really wanna make this week special. I'm just trying to jazz it up again with some videos and different things like that. And of course, we'll be having our um, Talk Tuesdays and our Thoughtful Thursdays this week at 11. So don't forget that. Also, make sure you're watching the um, videos that I'm sending to you guys with Jason Torres from Accessibility on Fridays and completing those guided notes. I'll show those to you real quick. I hope you liked his last um, video he did. He actually showed a little clip of Inside Out, which is one of my favorites. So as he completes each of, the, each of those episodes, just make sure you're completing. There's not many guided notes, but for each episode. So I kind of tell you when to stop for each day. So this week we'll do episode three, and I'm really excited because after that, um, at 11 a.m. on Friday, we're actually going to be doing another Google Hangout with Jason to do like a Q&A and um, hang out with him a little bit virtually. So that is what we're looking like for this week. So we'll go ahead and get started on our lesson for today. I'm going to read the instructions and then, like I said, kind of um, give you some examples of each activity so you know what you're looking for. Okay. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is, as uh, soon as we're going to um, complete the aisle menu to complete the worksheets and task cards. So just like we talked about last week with our grocery store ad, grocery stores have different sections and they put similar items together on aisles. So you have to navigate that um, when you go into a grocery store. Know where the produce is and the vegetables and the fruit. Know where canned goods are and soups and different things like that, spices. And then they even have health and beauty sections where you can get toothpaste and shampoo. So um, this is kind of split up like that too. And it shows you in those aisles, it's split up into those categories, just like it is in that um, grocery store ad. So um, kind of looking at those different sections there. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some different worksheets and some different aisles of them, some things we need or you might need someday from a grocery store that you need to get yourself. So... Um, what we're going to do on these is we're going to find the first item, we're going to write the price, and then the second and write the price, and we're going to circle which one's more. So a little comparison shopping. Um, do you have enough money? This is really important. So we're going to, it's just bills, there's no coins, but we're going to count the amount of bills that we have and then see, man, do I have enough money to buy this toothpaste or shampoo? Um, so we're going to work on those, and again, I'll go over that. So you just have to count the money in the wallet. Again, it's a bill amount. Uh, find the price of the item and then compare it and see if you have enough money. We'll just circle yes or no on that. And then at the end, I have some um, different, I don't know why I paused there. Hello. <laughs> Not flattering uh, pause for me there. But then at the end, we ha also have some shopping lists. So let let's say, you know, maybe your parent or whoever you go to grocery store, they do make shopping lists and that just helps you stay focused on what items you need. So we're going to use that shopping list with the um, menu items we have in there to calculate our total. So you kind of know that before going into a grocery store. All righty. So we'll get started. So the first one we have, and I'm going to tear mine apart a little bit. You can too. 
it has holes in it so you can still like keep it in your binder even if it is a little unattached but the first section that we're going to look at is this aisle one this health and beauty section so you can see here you know we have a few items toothbrush mouthwash toothpaste what would that be i guess like a no this is the lotion shaving cream shampoo perfume probably some more perfume i don't know maybe a comment on my youtube video what looks like a can of soda to me but um what that would be um so we have some different items there so what we're going to do in our first activity is do you have enough money for these items so first off you're going to need both of these pages in front of you so do you have enough money the one with the health and beauty stuff and then your aisle menu to see so the first one well first thing we need to do is how much money do you have walking into the store so you have a five, a one, and a one. So we're gonna count up method on this. So five, and then count by ones. Five, six, seven. So you have seven dollars walking into the grocery store today. So I'm gonna write that amount right up here at the top. All right, and then the number line's there too, just to if you wanna mark it on the number line how much money you have as well. And I'll challenge you guys, each of the item pricing, put it on the number line, what you think. That's a bit of a challenge for to make it a little harder for some of you guys, but if this is just right for you, then just keep going with this. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to see, do I have enough money for this toothbrush? Yes or no? And that's all you're going to circle today, yes or no. So we know we have $7. We're going to go to the toothpaste, and we see that the toothpaste is $9.27. $9.27, excuse me. It's a Monday. $2.97. Excuse me. So two dollars and ninety seven cents. So I'll find, and this number line is helpful too because I find two ninety seven. So two ninety seven is less than where I need to be with the seven dollars. So I know that yes, I do have enough money to buy a toothbrush if I need. And so now you're going to go through on your own, and we'll review um, afterwards. But go through and just check yes or no to see if you have um, enough money for these items. So that's our first one. Now, go into the next page. This is a which cost more. So um, basically like a comparison activity. So here we are now on aisle three in the canned good aisle. We have the prices right there, so we'll need to look at that price sheet for the canned goods. And then this one also to write in the price. So first one we have here, looks like we have some dog food, canned dog food. So we'll find that on our aisle, bottom row here, $3.55. So I'm going to write that amount just like that in the dog food. And now I'm com comparing it to a can of tomatoes. So go back here, find my tomato can right here. It's a dollar. I'm going to write that amount right there. So boom, I found my two prices, I listed them. Now I have to circle the item that costs more. So which is more on the number line? This $1 or this $3.55? Well, the three is more, so we're gonna circle. So you guys are like, this car, this is so easy. Yeah, I gave you guys an easy day. <clears throat> So that's how you do that second page. Moving on. Moving on. I'm getting so excited for our karaoke party with all the music and all the singing. Okay, <clears throat> so on this one we have a bakery aisle. This is like typically like at the beginning of a grocery store and now buy that produce maybe in the deli um, section. So we have a bakery here with some different types of breads and delicious goodies. So. Once again, you're doing the, do you have enough money? So you're counting the amount here, and I'm gonna let you do this on your own. We'll go over the answers, like I said, in a little bit. But here's how much you have in your wallet, a five and a one. So how much is that all together? And then again, use those prices here. Do you have enough by comparing? And all you're doing is just circling yes or no. So that should be pretty easy. Now we're gonna to get to our shopping list. And you'll need all the aisles for this one. 
So you're going to write the price of each of these items on the shopping list. They're all in the same area. So if it's health and beauty, it's going to be a health and beauty. Um, so all of this is uh, health and beauty. And then the second page here is the canned goods. So you'll need those two aisles. You need your canned good aisle for this last page. And oh, no, where is it? And this on the instructions in the health and beauty. So you'll need these two aisles to complete your shopping your shopping list at the end there. Okay? So I'll do the first shopping list with you. It is the health and beauty. So I have that out in front of me so I can see the prices of all the items. So I see here, I'm gonna get my clipboard up. That might be a little easier. So again, I have my health and beauty aisle right in front of me. <clears throat> so I look for the price of a toothbrush. Toothbrush. So I see the toothbrush is $2.00. 97 cents. So I'm just going to write the price there. All right. Then I'm looking for mouthwash. Mouthwash here. It's five dollars and fifty cents. And then lastly, oh, I need some cologne. Cologne right there in the middle for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. All right, and that's all you have to do right there. You just have to write the price amounts. So now you can go through and you can look at your total. Maybe you need to see how much money you need to get out of the bank to take to the grocery store. So get out those handy dandy calculators, maybe on your phone or maybe you have a calculator, whichever one is groovy. So I'm gonna 297, the price of the toothbrush, plus 550, plus nine, Decimal nine 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 $9.99 equals, and that's what I got, eighteen forty six. So I know, and I'm just going to think about it, I know that if all these items total up to eighteen forty six, maybe I would just make sure I had a $20 bill so I could cover the taxes and cover the cost of all these. Always think like a dollar up. So if it's eighteen forty six, you know there's taxes. So always think you'll need a dollar more. So it's one more than 18, 19. Hey, $20 bill would totally work for you to get some change. So complete all of those shopping lists. Oh, do we know now what the, um, oh, it's a deodorant. Huh. I was curious about this one before. It's a deodorant can. Okay. I can see it now. All right. So go ahead. Pause. If you need to go back on any of the, those directions, please do so. If you're more of a reader to look at the directions, of course, there's a whole instructions page there that shows you how to do each one. So good luck. Pause the video here and um, we'll come back and review with our answers. All right. So hopefully you completed that. Hopefully it was not too tricky. So I'm going to go over the answers with you guys so you can correct your um, mistakes, um, kind of see um, where we need help with um, as we go through this review, okay? So on our first one was our health and beauty, our aisle one. Do we have enough money? So remember, we had $7. So we went through here. I even made a mistake on that one I did. But do we have enough money for the toothbrush? Yes, that was only $2.97. Mouthwash, yes, we had enough money. That was only $5.50. Toothpaste was $1.54, so yes, we had enough. The perfume, however, was $9.33. We only had seven, so no, we did not have enough for the perfume or the cologne. The cologne was $9.99. Yes, we had enough money for the uh, deodorant. That was $2.89. Uh, the shampoo was only $4.75, so yes. We didn't have enough for the shaving cream. That was $8.15, so eight's more than that seven that we have. And then lastly, the lotion. Yes, we had enough money for because that was only $6. So go back and pause there if you need to look at those answers again on the yes and no's. 
Then we went into which costs more. So we had to find the prices of each of these items and then compare shop and see which is which costs more. So first one, for some reason, we compared dog food to tomatoes. Um, so the dog food was more because that was three dollars and fifty five cents. Tomatoes were only canned tomatoes were only a dollar. Um, so this might have got a little tricky with like the peas and the canned pineapple. So remember, this is not eighty nine dollars. This is eighty nine cents. So make sure you have that decimal. You put that behind that decimal there so it doesn't show $89. That wouldn't really make sense, right? If we think about it, a can of peas being $89, that would be, those are like the special peas that you can, you know, in the in the store that you can grow. But otherwise, can of peas, can of peas should not be um, $89. So make sure you put um, it behind those that decimal there. So $0.89 cents compared to the canned fish, that was $3.29. The canned fish was more, so we circled that one. Excuse me. Then we go down here, 99 cents for the canned pineapples. I love those. Um, and that's compared to the canned ham. That was $2.99. So our canned ham is more. This on here. All right. Um, then we have our canned corn, $1.79, compared to our soup, which was $6.19. Whew, that must be good soup for six dollars. So the soup was more. And then again, we compared um, the dog food with canned corn. The dog food was three dollars and fifty-five cents, and the canned corn was a dollar seventy-nine. So the dog food was more. So use that number line too. If you're you like visual number lines, you can use that as well um, to compare those. Very helpful. And then we did another, do you have enough money in the bakery aisle? So here we go. All right, you should have counted your money here. We had a five and a one, so that should have been pretty easy for us. So five plus one is six dollars. So we have six dollars going into the bakery. So do you have enough for each items? No, we didn't have enough for um, these guys. I forget what they're called, like cro um, croissants. Yes. Croissants, love croissants. So no, we didn't have enough for those guys. I mean, I'm sorry, yes, we had enough. Uh, I'm sorry, $1.25. So yes, we had enough for those, sorry. So focus on trying to remember the name. All right, the hamburger buns, yes, had enough for those. Those were only $2.15. Sliced bread, $4.08. We had enough for that. Um, ooh, uh, we have some cupcakes here. Yes, we had enough for those. Those were only $4.50. The baguette is, yes, we had enough money. It was only $1.80. Making me hungry for breakfast here. Cookies were $5.63. So, yes, we barely had enough money for that because we had that $6. So, yes, we had enough for that. Um, we have some hot dog buns right here. They were $3.40. Yes, we had enough. Oh, but then we get to this chocolate cake here. Mmm, that chocolate cake was $7.89. So we did not have enough for that. So that was no. And then we get over here to the bagels. $2.28. So yes, we did have enough money for those. Easy day, hopefully. Hopefully an easy day. If not, you guys know where to reach me and I'll help you. But it should be pretty self-explanatory. So here's our shopping list that we got to. You had to use those um, aisles. <clears throat> so we did that first shopping list together, so I'll do the second one. So again, the toothpaste, $1.54. Lotion, $6. Shaving cream, um, $8.15. Take notice of where those decimal, where I put those decimals to. That's very important. I calculated that all, added these all together, and got fifteen sixty nine. So that sounds about right. I can kind of estimate it like eight plus six is fourteen, then another dollar. Yeah. So fifteen sixty nine is how much you would need to bring for these items that you need. Shopping list three over here. Remember that perfume was uh, nine dollars and thirty three cents. Toothpaste was a dollar fifty four, and lotion six dollars comes to a total of sixteen eighty seven. We should have shopping list for nine. The cologne was nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Deodorant two dollars and eighty nine cents. Shampoo four dollars and seventy nine cents, bringing you to a total of seventeen dollars and sixty three cents. 
So pretty much with all of these items, if you just brought in a $20 bill to the grocery store, you should be able to get all of these items on your list. You can, you know, again, go through their shopping ads, find some prices there, and look at these things before you go in to know how much money you need and should be spending. To budget yourself. Remember, we're, we're thinking about budgeting. So shopping list number 9, 10, 11, and 12. These were all um, in the canned good aisle. I think the only thing that might have tricked us up here is, again, some of these, the canned pineapple and the peas were only cents. So if you put your decimal in the wrong place, but otherwise we should have done pretty well here. Okay, so shopping list nine, the canned tomatoes, a dollar. Canned ham, $2.99. And the canned corn, $1.79, excuse me. Which brings us to $5.78. So that wallet that had $6, I could have gotten all these things for that $6. All right, so our soup, $6.19. Canned pineapple is 99 cents. So I'm going to tell you, if you just wrote 99 here and didn't put that decimal, you probably didn't put it in your um, calculator correct. And you might have put it as $99, which, does that make sense? Can pineapple $99? No. So you should have had a red flag there if you got that. Make sure that decimal, when you put it into your calculator, you hit that first. So decimal 99. Okay. So see where that is on there. That's really important when you're adding things in a calculator. And just the same, remember uh, the canned peas, 89 cents, so make sure you put that decimal in front too. So we get a total of $8.07 for our shopping list 10. All right, our shopping list 11, the soup was $6.19, dog food $3.55, and canned cherries, yum. $2.07, so make sure you put that zero before that seven, that'll mess you up too. And when you add all those together, you should have got eleven eighty one. dollars Alrighty. I'm trying to get this here, okay. Last one, shopping list 12, canned peas, again, 89 cents. Look where you put that decimal. Canned corn, a dollar, 79 cents. Canned ham, $2.99, comes to a total of $5.67. All right. So that was our Money Monday, our last one. Mm, I know. I'm bittersweet, bittersweet, guys. All right. Well, it's going to be a fun week. Next week's going to be a fun week as well, especially with our end of the year party. Think of some ideas for that. I'm definitely um, taking those ideas. So I'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. for our Google Hangout, for our Talk Tuesday. Be ready with some good news. I want to hear what you guys did over the weekend. And, of course, if you have any questions, please reach out to me via email or text me, uh, call me, okay? All right, stay safe, guys. Take care.